Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward and it actually comes in 148 scale, it copies Spitfire Mark 5B in its mid version and we have a weekend edition kit here so it means we will get only plastic and decals and assembly manual which might be enough for some Maduras so that's why I decided to take a closer look and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and straight away you can notice that the box size and design is typical for Edward Weekend Edition. We have really beautiful box art here and now you can see comparison with my hand. It's a thin format box so that's why it will not take a lot of space and also here on the side we have some safety information and address of the manufacturer. Kit number is 84186 here and on the opposite side you can see also four marking options which are included into this kit so that's quite enough in my opinion for 148 scale this is a top opening box so it's quite easy to open and inside we find sprues in several plastic bags so on the top you can see the clear sprue and we will actually start with it and then gradually we will move on to other components which are included into this model so as for the clear sprue, here we have a slight difference from Mark 9 version of this aircraft because as you remember uh, that kit actually featured circular clear sprue, here we have rectangular but still we have quite nice parts here. We also have several types of the canopy, obviously you have to use only one. We also have different parts for the open or closed canopy so that's why pay attention when you'll be assembling this model, it will be important to use the right one. But because we have a weekend edition kit here so you have to be, um, let's say, professional in mask making or you have to get them as a separate accessory set from Edward which can be bought separately and for some others it will be all right. Next I'm opening another plastic bag, here we have grey plastic sprues and maybe in the meantime I can also remind you that you can support us with a small donation, it's quite easy thing to do because we have a big red button on our website and of course all this money will be used for the new kits to be reviewed or maybe to improve the photo and video quality of the reviews so that you can enjoy even more. Okay, so here we continue with the first grey plastic sprue and here we have wing panels, so note that the flaps are molded in while ailerons are separate. We also have separate air intake and also here we have separate main wheel wells and if I flip it over here inside we have guiding elements which should be uh, helpful when you will be combining all this stuff together. And do not be worried about such interesting design, it should be easy to work with. I assembled this kit before and it was quite nice. We also have uh, really good external features here so it's also a nice thing in the scale something what will not be missed even on several layers coat of the paint. Next we continue with the fuselage house. So here we have also pretty much traditional design. We have tail fin pre-molded and we also have the top coating cover. So with this you will have to be careful because it will be quite visible once you attach them together. You will have to work on the seam between this house, so pay attention to that. And inside you might be surprised by the emptiness in the cockpit area. Well this is because cockpit will be assembled separately and then installed in between fuselage house. So that's that's why uh, do not be worried, it can be, it will be better, it, it's not can be but it will be better even out of the box but you can also get the original brassing upgrade from Edward which will uh, add even more features in comparison with the standard plastic. Here we have one more grey plastic sprue, so mix of parts, several types of the propellers, obviously you will use only one, the same can be said about exhaust stacks. But overall molding quality looks fine and of course all these spare parts, uh, scratch builders will be happy to see it because it's always useful to get some spare parts for your future projects in this popular scale. Next we continue with one more plastic bag which I just opened. Here we have really a tight mix of parts, we have various types of the landing gear wheels, we have various types of the tail wings, of the rudder, of the tail, actually these are wing edges, wing tips, and also we have here propeller hub. So again everything looks good, we have even here the cockpit door, 
So different parts will be needed for the open or closed cockpit. And note that the tail wing, they have the guiding pins inside, so it will be easier to combine everything together. Okay. And next, we continue with the last gray plastic sprue. So here we have cockpit parts. As you can see, cockpit should be assembled out of several parts. And as I said before, it is quite detailed out of the box. As long as you paint it carefully and make some weathering, apply some weathering, it should be good to go. And it might be even worth opening the cockpit because this would be a shame to hide under the canopy. Next, we continue also here with the parts for the main wheel wells. And also we have two types of the instrument panel here. Obviously, you will need the plain one probably with the P parts, but P parts are not supplied here because we are dealing with the weekend edition kit. Next, we continue with the decal sheets. So these ones are packed into the separate plastic bag. So just give me a second to open it and we will take a closer look together. Straight away I can say that both decal sheets are printed in Edward, so you shouldn't be worried about any quality issues. So, for example, here we have stencils, and as you can see, printing quality is really good. And of course it's worth applying all of the symbols onto your model, because in 148 scale it will be noticeable, and it actually makes a model a bit more realistic, a bit more, a bit closer to the real subject. Next we continue with the larger decal sheet. So here we have, if I close the lenses, you will see what we have. So we have roundels, we have all the main symbols and aircraft numbers, and we also have some cockpit decals here. We have seat belts, we have instrument panel decals. And this is really great because for some others it will be more than enough. And they will just apply them, keep the cockpit closed and it will be fine. As I said before, you can also go for the original Edward upgrades, be it P or resin and then you'll get even more features next we have assembly manual this one is printed in form of large brochure we have short history note on the first page now i'm trying to open it okay so next parts map here a blue color means that this parts will not be used obviously so assembly process starts with the cockpit and here you have to think strategically how to paint all this stuff because later it will be difficult to reach into some areas so that's why i check it thoroughly and understand what have to be done in what way then we close in the fuselage in between um, cockpit in between fuselage house and we start building the wing assembly. So here, as you remember, main wheel wells are molded separately, then we join fuselage and wing together, we start working on the tail fairings, here we continue with the air intake and landing gear, and then we will have to decide whether we would like to have an open or a closed cockpit, and it means open or closed canopy, and next we continue with the last steps, so we have to use wire for the antenna, and here we have two marking guides, so this one with clipped wing, this one with extended, and two more aircraft with extended wing. And here we have the stenciling position guide. As I said, do not be lazy, apply all of these tiny writings. Your aircraft will only benefit from this. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. It should be already available, so write your comments here in the comment section below. And if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because it will help us greatly and you will not miss new videos. And I will see you in the next video review. Thank you for joining me today and bye.